It looks like the crew members are closing the watertight doors. So good for them. Maybe we will see them try to save the ship here. And, um, well, it has just failed because that man has opened up the watertight doors. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back on Sinking of Grey Rock again, and today, we're going to be checking out an update that includes watertight doors and also sinking controls. Well, pretty much the same thing, so when you open a watertight door or a gangway door while the ship's sinking, it will actually affect the way the ship sinks. So this is going to be really cool. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Now I should mention that you'll have to get the game pass if you want to use this feature every single round. It does select a random person, however, you may not be that random person every single round. So by getting this, you can pretty much make the ship sink how you want it, essentially, or how everyone else in the server wants it, or whatever. You can just open watertight doors, open gangway doors, as well as coal chutes. So this is going to be really cool, so let's go ahead and let's hop aboard. Well, this was a mistake. I just popped into the game, and, um, looks like the ship sank. And there's also uh, some creaking sounds as well for the ship, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump into that lifeboat. There we go. And, um, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool to check out. I'm really excited to actually see how this system works in-game. So, yeah, here we go. Now, as you can see, everybody's respawned, but we're going to wait a second because there are now new menus in the game. So, let's just go run over here so we can get away from all those people. There's a lot of people in the server. And as you can see, here we have the new menus. As you can see, there we've got, uh, Grey Rock, Port side collision loading so yeah it's loading in the collision sequence so obviously we still have those collisions but we can adjust how the ship sinks by opening and closing watertight doors coal chutes and gangway doors so let's go ahead let's hop on board and here we are we are at the dock so this is very cool I do really enjoy this game it is a really good game it's got a lot of elements included in it and a lot of playability as well so it's definitely an A plus from me but uh, yeah we should be departing very soon now here we are at a gangway door and as you can see oh we got a sunrise as well but uh, we can't quite access this gangway door yet and wow look at that that is always cool every time i play this game i love seeing those gangways pull back and the ship move away but this door is about to shut and look at that that is so cool anyways we're gonna make our way down this hallway here and we're gonna go down to the engine room just check that area out and i'll show you the watertight doors and the coal chutes and it sounds like somebody is opening and closing coal chutes or watertight doors but here we go here we have a uh, coal chute and you can see it opens there very very cool and let's go over here so as you can see we have the engine room here we've got the reciprocating engine and it is doing wonders by moving us forward but Let's go ahead and close a watertight door. So here we go. And that is so cool. I love that. And I also love the sounds as well. They're really high quality. So we'll go over here and we'll walk through this watertight door. And you can see here we have a coal chute. We'll go ahead and close that. Very, very cool. And over here we have another type of bulkhead. This is the watertight door bulkhead for the center line of the ship. So let's open that up. And as you can see, oh, it's actually closing. So there we go. And boom. And there are also brand new water effects in this game as well. Hello, Doge. How are you doing? But, uh, yeah, there are really cool effects that have been added into the game, and I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. So, uh, yeah, and this sounds a little funny over here. It's like the, uh, the weird humming noise. We also have generators in here. I'm noticing that these are new as well. So they're generating an interesting sound. Now, what if I... There we go. Um, doesn't seem to have broken it, which is good. It is impervious to bullets. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go back up to the main deck so we can see the collision from the upper deck level. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. I think we just ran into the rock or the reef. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, I hear water, so I'm pretty sure we have collided with the reef or rock. So let's take a look. Oh boy, that is not good. And we do have a slight list over to the starboard side, so that may be a cause of the water flooding in or the watertight doors not being shut. But let's go ahead, let's seal these watertight doors here. There we go. Um, yeah, these guys better move. Oh no, there's someone trapped behind that watertight door that just made it out there. So we're gonna close these watertight doors and see what we can do. Um, what I just did there is probably something you don't want to do. We want to seal these as well. There we go. As you can see, they're shutting. And look at the uh, little splashing effects as well. That is super cool. But uh, let's go ahead and close these two. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let's seal this, obviously. And you can see the water rapidly flooding in. And we are listing over to the starboard side. Goodbye, folks. And they are gone. So, 
yeah, I just love this sinking simulation. It is fantastic. We're going to close these watertight doors as well over here. Is this one closed? No, it is not. There we go. That is good. Oh my gosh, these coal chutes are all open. That's definitely not going to help us. There we go. Let's go ahead and seal this watertight door. There we are. Let's make sure this one is sealed as well. And we'll watch this one close. Goodbye, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, he made it. Good for you, Bendy. All right. Um, this area is flooding, and there's some of those effects there as well, so we'll go ahead and close this, or try to. There we go. Come on, get out, quick! Oh my gosh, they are really risking it there. Alright, so we have sealed the water tank doors, but we are still listing over to the starboard side, which means, um, it's probably not going to be good for us, so let's make our way up onto the upper decks. Oh my gosh, we are really listing over a lot now, and I want to make sure those gangway doors are closed too. And you can see that these coal chutes will actually flood up and that is also not good for the ship because water will easily be able to pass up to the coal chutes and into the open areas and this is becoming more and more of a death trap as we continue on here let's make sure that these gangway doors are shut this is probably not good let's close that all right here we go and slammed shut perfect so now we're going to make our way up here and make sure everything is uh closed off but by this point it's going to be very difficult to stop the flooding. Look at those coal chutes! They actually have little bits of uh, coal dust on the bottom of them. Love the detail. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to seal those because that's going to let in a ton of water. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at this. we got water coming and let's go ahead and close that. Look at that, the effects stop, which is great. So, um, let's see what's going on over here. Wow, this is really bad. Um, I just love this. This is so cool. It's such a cool little simulation here and I really really enjoy all the little fine details in it. Alright, so that's shut, that's good, but all the exterior coal chutes are open, so that's just going to let a lot of water flooding in, and here we have one open, let's close that. There we are, perfect. Now, I would imagine the uh, groups on deck uh, trying to get the lifeboats off are starting to get more and more chaotic as time goes on, and you can see actually all of the furniture is beginning to slide over to one side, which really shows you how far the ship is listed over to the starboard side here. And it just seems to continue to go, and I don't know if these guys can get these boats off quite yet, but we'll see if we can help out. No, these things are just kind of stuck to the deck here, at least for now. Oh my gosh, somebody left all those gangway doors open. I don't think we're going to be able to shut those in time. Somebody just yelled abandon ship, but we're going to go down there and see if we can shut those. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Um, that's probably not good either. Um, yeah, this is really getting bad really quick, so I think I might be on the wrong deck. Yes, I am. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, there goes something. I think the mass just collapsed. Oh, this is not good. This is going down very quick now. We're going to abandon ship. There's no way of saving it. Now I'm wondering, how will the funnel collapse? Will it tilt over to the starboard side, or will it just collapse forward like it usually does? We'll find out. Luckily, these lifeboats are getting away here. Well, at least that one there. Let's see if we can push this one a little bit. Anyone going to help me here? Looks like we got a crowd growing. That's good. But they're all getting in the boat, which is just adding weight to it, which is not helping it get pushed off, but in a minute it'll be in the water, as you can see. Oh boy, we should probably get away from the funnel, at least get over to this side. No wonder we're sinking, look at all the rocks around us, we definitely crashed into a rock. Um, and you can see that the coal chutes on this side are actually, um, they're closed. Well, this one isn't anymore, but you can see if we open that up, I'm pretty sure water's gonna come out of it. Oh no, I actually can't open it up. Goodbye, sir. Well, that man's dead. Now back to this funnel. We're gonna see what happens here. Will it collapse into the water? onto the starboard side, or what will it do? Uh-oh. Oh yeah, looks like it's tilting over to the starboard side. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's actually collapsing forward. And there it goes, and it just crushed that lifeboat there. Well then, there is a lot of death happening here today, which is not good. Oh my gosh, this thing is going so quick. We better get to the stern here. Um, let's actually see if there's anybody left inside. Looks pretty much abandoned by this stage. I'm just gonna open this gangway door, just for an emergency escape. Oh my gosh, that is just so frightening. Just looking down that hallway, which I had once been down earlier in the game, and now seeing water just rapidly fill it up while it's on its side. So let's just hop out here. There we go. You want to come with us? Not quite sure what that person is doing in there, but I wish them luck. Well, we do have one boat left on the deck. Um, oh, it's sliding just a little bit there. I think that was doing something. Oh, yes, this is doing something here. Well, slightly. There's a chair kind of wedged there. Not quite sure how we're supposed to launch the boat now. Well, there she goes. The gray rock is heading straight to the bottom, and she's taking her time. She's sinking very slowly, but the water is quickly inundating her interiors, or what's left of her interiors, and taking her down. And there she goes, folks. 
this is it. We're about to uh, head straight to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and jump overboard, and I'm going to see if I can get right onto the, uh, the table there. And I just noticed that underwater, you can see that the bubbles are coming up, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Well, anyways, we are on the table here. There's a lot of people on this table. And I think I'm going to swim over there because that table is getting quite overcrowded. How are we doing in the lifeboat situation? We've got a lot of lifeboats here. There's a guy with a gun, which is quite frightening. And he doesn't have a head. Hello, sir. Well then, we have survived the sinking of the Grey Rock once again, but we're not done. We're going to play it again, but this time, we're going to try to sink the ship, so, yeah. Alright, we are back on board, and the ship is departing again, and you can see everyone is now on board, and we're just going to have a nice little voyage for the next, maybe, minute or so before we smash into a rock, and I do believe that this sinking is once again going to be on the starboard side of the bow, but I could be wrong. It did say starboard side, but it doesn't say either bow or stern. And this man has a very large head. Looks like the captain is up there doing what he does best, sailing the ship. Let's go ahead, let's do a bit of a bridge visit and see what's going on up there. Alright, so here we are at the bridge. So, now this guy seems to be uh, captaining the vessel. And I think I might as well just go ahead and blow the horn. There we go. Very cool, and I hear a watertight door being closed. Now, I've just noticed that all the coal chutes are open. Now, I don't know if that was automatic or somebody just did that, but, um, yeah, they're all open. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just wait for the collision to happen. So, here we are in the cargo hold, and, uh, yeah, we're about to see something happen in a minute or two. Oh, hold on. Seriously? Oh, my gosh. I thought it said on the starboard side. This is on the port side. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Um, that's kind of strange. Anyways, as you can see, the water is flooding in on the port side here, and um, it looks like the crew members are closing the watertight doors, so good for them. Maybe we will see them try to save the ship here, and, um, well, it has just failed because that man has opened up the watertight doors. It's quite chaotic down here as you have multiple people opening and shutting the watertight doors at the same time. Now, I would recommend shutting these doors, but, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and shut them. I said I was going to basically sink the ship, but... I don't feel like I should do that now, and I've just trapped myself in the boiler room, which is great. Um, let me see if I can get into the engine room real quick. Um, everyone is doing everything all at once. Sorry, folks, you better run through. Oh, they're not gonna make it. Yep, and they're dead. All right, so um, we have quite a few people in the engine room as well here, and we can see the extent of the damage on the port side. It is quite bad. Gosh, it is just chaotic down there. I hear water tight doors opening and shutting, opening and shutting. It is, um, it is quite crazy. So. Let's take a look outside here. The ship has been stopped. I mean, the engine room flooded, so, I mean, that's kind of understandable. But uh, we'll see what's going on over here, and it looks like everything's normal so far. I mean, we have a bit of a stern list, but other than that, we're doing well. Uh oh that's not good. I did hear a bit of creaking there. Still uh, chaos down in the engine and boiler rooms, and uh, gunfire as well. So it is really getting chaotic down there. They probably just shot somebody trying to open up the doors. All right, so I think I'll go back down and uh, see how much the water is flooded in in that area. And I'm going the wrong way. So let's uh, let's go the right way. Here we go, down the stairs. Oh my gosh, it is very bad over here. This is a significant amount of flooding. That door is open. Um, no, is it closed? Oh no, this one is closed. But uh, yeah, this is not doing well. I'm going to quickly pass between this uh, bulkhead here. There's a lot of water spilling in. Let's go ahead and seal that. There we go. Actually, this may have been a bad idea because I'm not trapped in here. Well, not really trapped. I mean, if the electrics failed, I would be trapped, but luckily I can just simply pass through. All right, we'll seal that there. Let's hope nobody's following us. Oh, there is somebody following us. Uh-oh. All right, well, um, this is, this is getting bad. I'm going to close these here. There we go. Now, it looks like water is flooding down from the top, which is not good either. Come on through, sir. There we go. We're going to close that there. And this thing is going down quick. And it looks like the power is failing in these areas, which is also not good. We're going to close these two. Okay, so maybe over here I can walk on my feet. There we go. Just slightly. Let's open up this and get through. All right, the cargo hold. So here we go. We got what looks to be a bit of ice in here. Alright, so here we are in the cargo hold. We got some splash effects right by the stairs, which is really cool in my opinion. Alright, we're gonna try to get out of here. Oh boy, there is water over there. That is not good. I do hear splashing effects upstairs as well, so we're gonna go check that out. Oh boy, the power is 
dying here. I think the generators may be going underwater. Luckily, these doors are closed, which will prevent water from flooding in. But, what if I open up these doors here? Will it even out the flooding and make the ship sit on an even keel? We'll find out. So I'm gonna open up these doors on the port side. Oh boy, we got water in here. This is probably a good opportunity to open up these doors and let water flood in and see if it will even out the flooding. Oh my gosh, oh, it is sinking very quick. That was a mistake. That whole room is going under very fast. Look at that. Oh my gosh, okay, let's run. Let's get out of here. I think I may have just screwed up. I think I may have just caused the plunge of the ship. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, that's why I couldn't move. I was going down the stairs. Hello, how are you doing? It doesn't matter anymore, sir. Unfortunately, we are going straight to the bottom. Oh, this is very bad. Look at this, the water coming in. This is not good. Get up the stairs. Looks like there's a lot of people on the boats here trying to get them off. Now, yes, I'm going to open up more doors because I want to see this thing go down. Um, I want to see it go down very quickly. And I want to see if what I do here will impact the flooding whatsoever. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's see what happens. So, actually, this um, this is getting quite far away from the water. Here. This one over here isn't, actually. So, um, this will be good to open up. And I think the funnel is about to collapse. Let's go ahead and open up this door as well. Let's see if this goes under. Oh, oh my gosh, it's going under fast. Open, get out, go. It is plunging. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, we have escaped. And just in time to see the funnel collapse into the water there. So this is the end for the gray rock here, going straight under. And, um, yeah, very unfortunate to see this there. Somebody just jumped out of the gangway door and a deck chair is sliding down the deck itself. And, um, we're gonna see a crowd forming at the bow, possibly, so that'll be interesting. Not quite sure why I'm getting a massive frame drop here, but it may have something to do with my, uh, screen recorder. I'm not quite sure. I have been getting quite a few frame drops recently, so I do apologize for that if you've seen them in the videos. Well, as you can see, the Grey Rock is almost at a vertical angle at this stage, and I think this would be a good time to jump. Here we go, and, uh, yeah, into the water. So, there we are. It is a very, uh, laggy drop there. I do apologize once again, um, but there she goes. Her bridge is slipping under. Let's make sure everyone's out of there. Good. It looks like everyone was out, and she is just sliding under that traditional just sliding motion as a ship sinks under the waves there so that was really fun this update is really really cool and i'll have a link in the description if you want to check this out and i highly recommend it so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you next time guys goodbye